bitch. Hey there, welcome. Welcome to the video. What I'm trying to do is get your attention within the first five seconds because I've heard that that is what makes people stick around videos longer if you try to get their attention within the first five seconds. So hopefully me using an expletive and calling you by what your mom used to call you is uh, gonna be enough for you to stick around and actually uh, give me a like, right? To trick the algorithm. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of a card trick today, a little bit of a coin trick, a little combination. So when it comes to magic, there's no other place like the Pig Cake Magic Academy. $5 a month gets you two videos every single week going over card and coin stuff. Every single week, doesn't matter. I could be dead and somehow I'll still get videos out. Why? Because, I don't know, I probably planned it out. There's probably gonna be a, a weird YouTube algorithm in heaven. Although honestly, let's be truthful here. I'm gonna end up in hell because of all the stupid magic tricks that I do. $5 a month, two videos every single week. Over 300 videos already. Starting from a beginner, how to hold a deck, how to even choose a deck, all the way to expert level, different, difficult, difficult and different slights, like uh, one-handed double lifts and uh, controls that require effort. So check it out, $5 a month. Rave reviews all around, people saying, whoa, dude, how, how is this so cheap? How is this so cheap? How do you provide so much content? Well, check it out, check it out. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. So for this trick, we're gonna be using the uh, classic Bin Wang playing cards, the Bin Wang playing cards with what looks like to be, uh, I don't know, some sort of uh, Clorox stains. Can we get a, look at the Clorox stains on the corners of those. I'm pretty sure that just occurs naturally because the ink used on these playing cards uh, is probably uh, Corona. Can I say that? Is it too soon? Corona ink. This is probably ink made from uh, the substance known as Corona virus. Not Corona, the trash beer that, uh, Mexicans drink and we're also going to be using a half dollar a half dollar This is going to be the combination of things that we use in order to um, well make this trick actually work So let's just cut to the crotch cam here So as I mentioned, we're going to be using some bin wangs and a half dollar bin wangs and a half dollar This is a very very simple trick. We could have the spectator hold on to the actual half dollar another spectator is allowed to touch whichever card they want. Let's say they happen to touch the uh, four of diamonds. They remember that card. They uh, commit it to memory as if it's their, um, I don't know, long lost memories with their father. And uh, that card gets lost in the middle of the deck. Now here, this is where you bring out the, uh, this is where you bring out the coin. You bring out the coin here and you could place the uh, cards down temporarily while you show the coin and you say that this is a little bit of a special coin because this is what we know in the community as a, um, as a homing coin. This is a homing coin, a homo coin uh, for short, because uh, this coin, believe it or not, can actually find selected playing cards. I know, I know, it seems like it's such a such a weird thing, but I'll tell you what, if we take the coin in the hand and just give it a little bit of a squeeze, you see what happens? The coin completely disappears. It completely, I don't know where else it went. Actually, I do know where it went. It didn't go in my pocket, it didn't go anywhere, but right next to your card. And if you look at the deck, you see the deck's a little bit thicker now the deck happens to be a little bit thicker because we happen to have managed to get that homing coin to hone in and homo on one card and it happens to be your card, sir, the four of diamonds. I know, I know what you're saying, I know. Hey, the, the, the deck went off camera, this isn't a good framing. But well, you know what, those are all valid points. All right, those are all valid points, but I'll tell you what, this trick is a, is a good one in person. It's a good one in person because uh, the misdirection is kind of built in itself here. So let me show you what I mean. All you need is a half dollar and a second half dollar. That's what you need. You need a half dollar and a second half dollar. You also don't need a, um, a mirror behind you to show everybody what's going on. But you do need a, a half dollar and another half dollar here. And that's going to be your, your little, bit of a, little bit of a gimmick, your little bit of a setup. One goes in finger palm in the right hand. The other one is displayed and then placed. Now here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your hand with this coin and finger palm, you're gonna bring it up and uh, you're gonna have it writing there underneath the spread. So whatever card they happen to touch, guess what? You're gonna show them the card, which happens to be the exact same card, covering the half dollar with my fingertips. You see that? That's all I'm doing here. Now, when I place the spread down, I'm gonna use my middle finger to bring that coin to the middle of the card. So when I square it up, 
I could temporarily just show this hand empty at the same time the coin is already there. So here's where you're going to implement the use of misdirection. Now, ideally, you place this deck face down to the side at the same time that the attention is on the coin. So after you actually have the spectator pick a card, you're going to place that coin right there underneath the card. You're going to score it up. So right now the coin is uh, in the middle of the deck. This is where your misdirection works out the best because you're gonna say, actually, the uh, person that's gonna do this trick is gonna be the coin. Now here, the attention's gonna be on the coin. My face, my eyes are looking at the coin. The deck is gonna go face down on the table to the side here. Keep that in mind. The reason for that is because later on, it's gonna be more amazing when they look and the uh, coin happens to be there as if it's been there the entire time or if it just magically appeared at that point, depending on how you skew it. But what I like is that the attention is on the coin, the deck is placed down, it doesn't become the, uh, the attention of any sort of focus. And when they call back to it, you're gonna be able to notice the actual uh, coin inside of the deck. So that's the best way to perform this. Again, I couldn't do that because of the uh, current situation that I have here. But imagine a deck being face up over here. Now at this point, you're gonna do your favorite coin vanish. You're gonna do your favorite coin vanish to make that coin completely disappear, hopefully without any sort of um, uh, mention to the uh, Greg Wilson all around vanish. It's a wonderful move. You can check out his work if you wanna learn that particular vanish, which I butchered completely in the performance because, um, well, I'm not as good as him. So if you wanna learn how to do that, check out his works. But at this point, you can do whichever vanish you want to uh, make this coin completely disappear. Now, um, it's gonna be very easy because again, the attention is gonna be on the deck. So as you make the coin vanish, you can ditch it in your pocket, show your hands empty, and then draw attention to the deck, which again, should be here at this point. You could then say, look, look, if you notice the coin has managed to find its way into the deck right next to one card. Yes, that's right. The four of diamonds, your card, the card you picked. Oh boy, what a wonderful ending here. So again, the misdirection works itself but you do need the, uh, the correct placement of the deck. And I apologize for not being able to do that because of the, um, well, there's a table here, there isn't a table here. And for me to bring this table here, it would require me moving all these cables, of which I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do, honestly. Uh, so it's a very, very simple trick. It's a very simple trick. All you need to do is have two half dollars, one that's uh, conveniently placed on the floor, of which you could then do this vanish. You could then do this stupid vanish that every coin magician does uh, when it comes to that. Could you even see the half dollar? Could you see the half dollar right there? Look at that. You could do this one. And for all you foot fetishists, uh, I hope you're satisfied, but you could do this little stupid vanish that every coin magician does. You go, oh, look, I dropped the coin. Um, I'll tell you what, why don't we just uh, make it vanish? Yeah, and reappear underneath my foot. They're just sliding it under the foot. Every coin magician does this and they think they're clever. Stop it. It's gross. It's disgusting. That's my public service announcement to a uh, coin magician. So uh, I hope you guys appreciate that. Uh, but that's a trick, man. Super easy to do, not hard. You just have to incorporate your own little vanish and it's gonna be good to go. Uh, I do recommend the placement uh, not being what I did, which is place it here and then have to reach with this hand. Again, you wanna place the deck to the side. You wanna place the deck to the left side and then draw attention to the coin, which is on the right side. So then when everybody's looking at the coin, you can place the deck down. Nobody's gonna be looking. Nobody's gonna be looking. So it's just this shocking because apparently it's been in full view the entire time. That's the part that's uh, amazing to people. So that's a trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm going to go and watch a small whale. Cannon fire in my pants. Ain't no shampoo for the crabs. Crusty patty on the tip. Shit's going to hurt when it rips. Going to get a ship with an engine. Tired of wind with no direction. Bury me in full sand, full erection. Can't close the casket. Shouldn't have to ask it. Cut it off, feed a village for months. Separate funeral just for the cock. Wasting time looking for a dock. Should have stayed home and gone in a sock. Pixar for Columbus, king of the ocean. High on discovery, no need for potion. Hogan leg drop on the sea, got it looking like Moses. Gonorrhea taking time away from the poses. 